now to our homeless crisis. We have new details on the lawsuit against the city of Portland over homeless camps on city sidewalks. A group of people with disabilities say that in many cases, these camps are blocking ADA access. Yeah, and this is the first lawsuit of its kind here in Portland. As Blair Best reports, the county hounded out thousands of tenants, tents, excuse me, to the homeless back in 2021, which could be the root cause of this lawsuit. The lawyers behind this lawsuit say the 6,500 tents and tens of thousands of tarps that the county gave to the homeless are now making it nearly impossible for people with mobility disabilities to safely get around the sidewalks. Often there's tents blocking the entire sidewalk where I don't see them. because. They weren't Early last month, a group of Portlanders with mobility disabilities filed a lawsuit against the city, arguing the city is in violation of the American with Disabilities Act and the Federal Rehabilitation Act by allowing homeless tent sites to block sidewalks. And I have to go out in the street a lot of times to get around them. The city has since responded to the lawsuit, requesting Multnomah County, Metro, and the state of Oregon also be added to the case. The city's attorney did not respond to KGW by our deadline, but said in an email to the lawyer leading this case, quote, as your lawsuit is currently presented, I believe it fails to recognize the important role and responsibility played by these other government entities, in addition to the city, in addressing this complex problem. First of all, this lawsuit is under the Americans with Disabilities. Act. This is John DiLorenzo, the lead attorney representing the Oregonians who filed the lawsuit. And uh, the Ninth Circuit has made it pretty clear that sidewalks are within the ambit of the act. Uh, the city has jurisdiction over the sidewalks. DiLorenzo's team found that back in 2021, Multnomah County's Joint Office of Homeless Services handed out 6,550 tents and 27,000 tarps to those experiencing homelessness. Which we think the county may have foreseen would find their way onto the sidewalks, which is the very reason my clients are suing the city. And so, uh, it, it places us in an, in an awful situation where Multnomah County supplies the tents which the city sweeps. Uh, go figure. It's not clear yet where the joint office got the money to buy the thousands of tents and tarps. It may have been federal money that was used, may have been COVID relief money, may have been uh, money from the uh, homeless tax. The joint office, which is run by Multnomah County, tells KGW in an email, the joint office has put half its budget this year into expanding and strengthening its shelter system. At the same time, the homelessness services system and the joint office have also continued to provide safety on the street services. But if the tents and tarps that the joint office gave to the homeless are found to be used in ways that block ADA access, the county could also be sued. And if we have success here, I think this model could be replicated in other West Coast cities too. Mayor Ted Wheeler tells us in an email that he can't comment on pending litigation, but that homelessness is his top priority and he understands the frustrations around it, which is why he says he's issued so many emergency declarations. Now, the city is also asking for specific locations as to where these tents are blocking ADA access so that they can clear them. But again, that doesn't solve the problem. Blair Best, KGW News. Well, we are